bum. All right, fine. You've waited long enough. I'll do the G-Fest video. You're welcome. So, you know the drill. I went to G-Fest. However, this G-Fest was different. Instead of my usual, you know, being by myself, I decided to abduct my friend and bring him along, too. Uh, I will call him Albatross for the remainder of this video. Here's a little recreation of how that went down. Ah, what a good day it is, getting food at unnamed commercial restaurant chain. You're coming with me. What? I said you're coming with me. No, wait, no, no! Of course, in reality, there was a lot more handshakes and greetings and stuff, but for the sake of comedy, we'll leave that out. Friday. We woke up and the first thing we did was go to the vendor's room. The line was long, but for some reason it didn't take that long to get in. I guess people just really had enough time to check their stuff out. I don't know. However, in the middle of walking through the line, we went to get a picture by those, you know, giant wall paintings of various Godzilla kaiju. And... Uh, all of a sudden, some guy wearing a Mechagodzilla costume just showed up and joined us in the photo. Here is the picture in question. I have blurred out the faces and names so the government doesn't come after me. Well, let's hope I don't get sued. Sir, you're coming with me. No! Dang it, I got sued. Well, I can at least keep a consistent location now. But enough chatter. I know what you're here for. You're here for the figures and the stuff I bought, which is just figures, but uh, we'll, we'll get to that later. Actually, we'll get to the figures right now. Uh, uh, jump cut. Starting off for our first figure, we have the Spaceman's himself, Monster X. So yeah, this is a pretty nice Bandai vinyl figure. Uh, it's got some decent paint for a Bandai figure. It, it's, it's pretty good. What's really good is the detail. You can see all the rivets and rumps and, uh, crumbly bits. Yeah. Onto the articulation. So the articulation is not very much. He has some in the tail. It can swivel like that. He's also got some in the arms. None on the legs for some reason, and for some reason, you can twist his head. I don't know. Sadly, I was unable to find a Kaiser Ghidorah to go with this guy, but we will simply have to make do. On to the next figure I bought. Wait a second. That's right. We got the Bandai Shin Godzilla, uh, Shin Gomez, Shin Gomez. After all, his model in the film was definitely a completely original CG model, and not just Shin Godzilla with a few spikes slapped on him. Of course not. Why would they do that? And for all of you people saying out there that, wait a second, that's not a Godzilla kaiju, I don't care. I felt like getting some more non-Godzilla kaiju. So, anyway, onto articulation. Quick side note, why does his tail look super weird? It's a, 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 a it's kind of scary. Like, what, 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 is this my sleep paralysis demon? Starting off with the limbs, we got some articulation in the arms, and I don't know if there's like something wrong with the figure or on my specific copy, but for some reason the arms are a bit, a bit out of, you know, alignment, but it, it's fine. Uh, he has leg articulation and uh, no tail or head articulation, but uh, he, he's pretty, he's pretty nice. He's a, he's a pretty decent figure. Figure number three. This guy. His name is Naranga, and he kind of looks like a pug from a head-on view. Anyway, 
but let's see what he does. So Naranga here has some pretty nice spray paint yellow detail with the spines and the back ridges. You know, pretty film accurate. Why is there a red patch on his crotch? I don't know. I don't know. He got some nice lip and gum detail as well as the teeth and those beady little eyes stare kind of into my soul, but not really. I don't know. He's He's got a cool horn. The little antennae things uh, have some uh, an odd paint job, but sure. He's got he's got the thing on his foot, and uh, articulation his articulation, arm movement that goes around and around, leg movement too, and nothing else. Pretty typical. Uh, anyway, we're done with him. Now my next figure, I forget who exactly it is, but... Please, I'm sorry, I had to. I know it's a dead meme, but he still... The lobster... It, 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 uh... Hey, you. You got an update. Oh, uh, what's the update? You've been sentenced to death. Well... That's not good. All right, sir, do you have any last words? Yes, I do, in fact. Uh, those last words are... Here we have Abira. He's got some nice detail. He's a little lobster shrimp boy. He's got arm articulation. And he's, he's very holdable. He's, he can, you can wield him. You can wield him like a weapon. Saturday. And for our next kaiju, we have Iris, the McBoyo of all time. Yep, that's right, I got another Gamera kaiju to compliment Gauss. Anyway, on to Iris. This is a good figure. This Look at all this spectacular detail and the, the tentacles. The, they're cool, and the head with the orb. You can see the orb, the orb, right? Yeah, that's... Beautiful thing. He's he's very good, actually. Uh, the back area is a little bit, you know, uh, out there with the whole mass of tentacles, and the tentacles are all intertwining, and it's freaking hard to move them, even though they don't actually have articulation, but you can still move them around a little bit because of plastic or vinyl reasons. He has articulation in the arms and in the hand spike thingies. Oh, and on the feet, too. Uh, yeah. So, uh, next figure. Sunday. For our next figure, it is actually one of the things from the new show that's gonna come out in September, Gamera Rebirth. It is Jiger, the purple one. Why is the figure purple? I don't know. But besides the purpleness, he's a very nice figure with all the blue shiny tips and he's got some nice detail or she's got some nice detail with a little uh, yellow area and, he, and he, as you can see some nice sculpt work on the face that's a that's a weird looking face and it's a in the nice crouching the little salamander looking pose and uh it's got articulation in the in the hind legs not the front for some reason Oh, I think there's articulation in the tail, too, but... Uh, yeah. Not really much articulation. Uh, weird purple paint job. I think the thing in the show was supposed to be more desaturated or more of a brownish purple. You know, not so vibrant, but I don't know. Who knows? Uh, yeah. So, Jiger. Next figure. Now... Our next figure may surprise you. Since I got the Maranga from Shinultraman from Bandai, you might also be expecting that I got the Shin Gabora from Bandai. And well, I have some news for you. And the reason that I've been holding off to do the second one is because that actually I did in fact and not get Gabora. I got Pagos instead because someone bought the last Gabora. Now, despite the lack of Gaboras, Pagos is actually quite a good figure on his own. Uh.
as you can see, compared to Noranga, he has, in fact, quite a similar pose. In fact, it's the same pose, because they're basically the same mold, which is a reference to how they were in the movie, which is more references to uh, stuff from the actual things, but we will get into that another time, maybe. Back to Pagos. As you can see, he looks like a lot less spiky version of Naranga, with a completely different head sculpt, too, which I do, in fact, like. I like the four eyes and the little pokey bits. Yeah. He's got a nice spray job on his back, and his colors look like a slightly more grayed out and watered down version of Naranga's colors, since he is the proto version of him, or something, or whatever. And, yeah, he's got some very good detail, he's got a nice head, he's... Hagos is good boy. And now, for our next figure. I am sorry, but I had to get it. I had to get it early, despite me, what I had said before. I have gotten, so far, four Gamera Kaiju. One Hyper Gauss, one small little normal Gauss, uh, the Iris, and Jiger. So, and, but for some reason, I was unable to hold myself back this year from getting the turtle himself. But I did get Gamera, the Revenge of Iris version, and I do not have any regrets. He is a pretty nice looking figure. He's got some feet articulation, or some hand, or feet articulation, no arm articulation, and pretty much no articulation except for the feet. But we're here for the detail. Look at that nice gum detail. He's got those emerald eyes, those emerald green eyes, and that nice tusk and sculpt work, and the, and the detail in the shell. Oh, that, it's, it's gorgeous. It's, it's, it's a good figure. I like him. He's cool. And for our final figure, it's time for the space chicken to rise again. Gigan. This is Gigan as he appeared in his debut film, Godzilla vs. Gigan. Uh, it's the new, it's pretty new, it's cool. He's got some nice gold scale details and also some green. He's a very good design and figure. I like him. He's got some three actual fins, unlike the other Showa Gigan figure I have. He is far more accurate to the original film than the other Showa Gigan figure I have. As you can see, he has a nice buzzsaw, some claws, the feet, and he's got big sails and spiky bits, and I love him. Time for a little comparison. Here is the Showa Gigan that I got during G-Fest 2018, which is around five years ago. Oh my, oh no, it's five years ago. No, uh, and this is the Showa Gigan figure I got uh, this year, G-Fest 2023. As you can see, the second one is far more film accurate and just is sleeker and smoother in design. Like, look at those smoothness and all this, and this has, like, friggin' all the friggin' scuffing on the claws and the metallic bits, and you know, it, it's still a nice figure, but tiny friggin' sails, and uh, it, it, it's, it's just not as accurate as this one. This one's far superior. Yeah. But Gigan was not the last figure I got, despite him being the last Bandai figure I got at G-Fest. In fact, this next figure I actually got on Saturday, and it is now the magnum opus of my collection. You may have seen that stop motion I made from a while ago, and as you can see, we have the SH Monster Arts GMK Godzilla. Ah, wait, ah, crap, I forgot to mention, I got a, I got a Heisei King Ghidorah at G-Fest. Uh, wing articulation, foot articulation, nice gold painting. It can complement my Mecha King Ghidorah over there. He's cool. Uh, uh, I, I forgot about him, but back to, back to GMK Godzilla.
But yeah, as you can see, beautiful sculpting and nice poses and posture you can get him into. The head occasionally falls off and the tail pieces occasionally come off as well. But, you know, for a figure so heavily articulated, that's understandable. Time for details of beautiful pale white eyes and nice dorsal spines. Ooh, they're so cool. I like them. I love them. He costs 120 bucks. And look at all this articulation. Look, look at this. Bend at the elbow, bend at the elbow, swivel, swivel here, swivel there. Oh my goodness, he's, he's amazing. But you see, the real reason that I got this figure is because it complements the first Godzilla figure I ever got. The NECA GMK Godzilla. And, you know, for my first Monster Arts figure, I thought it would be nice and poetic to buy uh, the Monster Arts figure that was the equivalent of the same Godzilla figure that I first got that started the collection and where I am today. And nah, I'm just kidding. The only reason that I actually bought the SH Monster Arts GMK Godzilla is because the Hedorah and Super and Mechagodzilla 2021 figures for Monster Arts were already sold out. But just pretend there's meaning there. All right, are you done? Yep, those were my last words. You can execute me now. All right, time to fire up the... What the heck? S-O-S. Uh, Studio Series 86 Coronation Starscream, what are you doing here? A long time ago, you reviewed Studio Series Galvatron. I want in on a piece of that pie. The, it, it wasn't a toy review. I was just showing people that I got the thing. I wasn't doing a review. It was, it's just a little one-time thing so that I could do a thing for the Super Bowl with Megalon vs. Megatron. I don't care. Give me my toy review or else. What are you going to do? I can just, you know, disassemble you. Ha. I hid all your screwdrivers inside a place where you'll never be able to find them. Oh. Uh, okay, well, uh, you know what? Sure, Starscream. I'll, I'll give you your review eventually. Eventually? What do you mean by eventually? I'll, I'll, I'll give you a review soon. You and only you. Just you. I'm not giving anyone else... A, a review. Hey, wait a minute. How come only Starscream gets a review? We're all equals in your collection, aren't we? I, I mean, yes, but Starscream's the one threatening my life right now, but hey, wait a minute. You got me pretty recently. I should also get a review, shouldn't I? Same as me. In fact, you have an entire shelf dedicated to us. How come we don't get reviews, but Starscream and Galvatron do? Don't ask questions. I'm just, 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 or else, or else what? You know what? Fine. I'll get to the entire Transformers collection in reviews eventually, but Starscream is first because he asked so politely. Ah, yes, that's the spirit. All right, can we end this now? Sure thing.